Hey, God bless you, everyone. This is Salt and Light. Um, this podcast is made possible by Anchor. Um, ever since I started our podcast, I've been using Anchor. It's great uh, for a few reasons, and I'll just explain. I'll go through them. Uh, it's free. It's very user-friendly. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast, but no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So if you know anyone that's ever wanted to do a podcast, or you yourself um, have thought about um, doing one, Anchor is a great platform to use. So if you ever down, uh, download the an- free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Once again, that's Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R dot FM to get started. God bless you all. Hey, God bless you all. In Jesus' name, this is Salt and Light, your voice for biblical encouragement and teachings from God's Word, as well as discussions on relevant cultural and moral topics and issues of our day. I pray everyone is well. I uh, just want to get into, uh, this is pretty recent um, regarding, and this is an article from Brett Bart. Um, it's an article on that rap, uh, rapper Little Nas X. Okay, so it's all over social media. It's blowing up social media. Um, it's it's pretty much everywhere. Um, so it's like I said, it's pretty recent um, regarding his, uh, his Satan shoes uh, containing human blood, limited to six 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 pairs. Um, it says this article has been updated. The original version said Nike collaborate on the creation of the Nike Satan shoe. Nike told fact checking outlet Snopes. Nike did not release nor design these shoes. Okay, so that's that's important to know. Um, we'll get to that in a bit. Rapper Lil Nas X has unveiled Satan shoes, which contain human blood and will be limited to 666 pairs that are individually numbered. The sneakers start at $1,018. Nike told fact-checking site Snopes it did not collaborate in the creation of a Satan shoe. Satan shoes are expected to be, to be released on Monday, March 29th. They contain 60 cc ink and one drop of human blood, according to the Streetwear Culture and News account. Same. In selling the sneakers, the rapper has partnered with MSCHF, a company that runs on structured chaos and has been creating some of the most absurd, cynical, and viral projects and products that have spread across the internet. According to a report last year by Business Insider. Moreover, the release of the Satanic Sneakers will arrive on the heels of Little Nas X's latest music video, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, in which the rapper can be seen dancing on a stripper pole while descending to hell, where he subsequently gives Satan a lap dance. The, the title video, Montero, is a reference to the rapper's real name, which is Montero Lamar Hill. On the day the music video was released, Lil Nas tweeted a message to 14-year-old Montero informing his past self that he has written a song without naming it. Dear Miss, um, dear 14-year-old Montero, I wrote a song without naming it. It's about a guy I met last summer. I know we promised to never come out publicly. I know we promised to never be that type of gay person. I know we promised to die with the secret the rapper wrote. But this will open doors for many other queer people to simply exist. Little Nas X continued. You see, this is very scary for me. People will be angry. They will say I'm pushing an, an agenda. But the truth is, I am. The agenda is to make people stay. The um, it's a curse word there it starts with F. Out of other people's lives and stop dictating who they should be. Sending you love from the future. Late last year, the rapper made... Uh, made headlines when he told one of his pregnant fans to get rid of it during an online Q&A with his 6.3 million Instagram followers. Okay, so and uh, so that's just one one article as well as uh, this another one where 
This is from the Daily Wire. Um, and this is again um, what they had said originally that Nike uh, collaborated with uh, with the making of the Satan shoes when in fact um, they did not. And Nike sues over Little Nas X Satan shoes and Nike filed a trademark infringement lawsuit against MSCHF HF, the shoe designer behind Little Nas's X's now infamous Satan sneakers Monday, alleging that the shoe design and marketing implied Nike is involved with the shoe. The shoemaker cited a need to set the record straight, according to NBC News. After the shoes went viral on social media and some outraged individuals accused Nike of supporting the Old Town Road rapper's embrace of the occult. Little Nas X, whose name is Montero Lamont Hill, is not named in the lawsuit. Only MSCHF, which collaborated with Hill on the Satan shoe design, technically a follow-up to the shoe designer's previously released Jesus shoe. Nike had no involvement in either design. MSCHF reportedly modified dead stock Nike Air Max 97s, but the company is reportedly concerned that there has been significant confusion about its involvement of approval of the Satan shoe. Nike's trademark infringement suit against MSCHF, Little Nas X, was not named as his defendant in the complaint. It comes after many believed it was involved with the Satan shoes, despite the company releasing a statement over the weekend saying it had nothing to do with the manufacture or sale of the sneakers, NBC News reported. The lawsuit argues that Nike must maintain control over its brand by setting the record straight on what products bear its distinctive swoosh logo, the outlet noted. The lawsuit makes clear that Nike believes its public image is suffering because of the controversy over Little Nas X's sneakers. In fact, there is already evidence of significant confusion and dilution occurring in the marketplace, including calls to boycott Nike in response to the launch of MSCHF's Satan shoes based on a mistaken belief that Nike has authorized or approved this product, the company said in its suit. Nike did try to head off the public relations nightmare Sunday night, telling media as outrage erupted on social media that the company does not have a relationship with Lil Nas or MSCHF. Nike did not design or release these shoes, and we do not endorse them. Um, that will certainly have an impact on Lil Nas X's bottom line, even though he is not named as his defendant in the suit. As a Daily Wire reporter early Monday, all 666 pairs of the Satan sneakers sold out in under a minute, despite the $1,018 price tag. Wow. And this is just, uh, let me sh- get to um, something else uh, that was regarding that as well. And this is from. This is from the stream. And this was written by Michael Brown. Um, five takeaways from the new Satan sneakers. Um, this article was published March 30th. Also, it was published yesterday. The announcement of, Lil, of rapper Lil Nas X's limited edition Satan sneakers has created a media firestorm, which was the most obvious goal of the campaign. After all, how much money can be made from a run of 666 sneakers, all allegedly featuring a drop of human blood? Yet there are practical takeaways from this publicity stunt. Children are little Nas X's core audience. First, while the sneakers will be here today and gone tomorrow, we must not underestimate little Nas X's influence on children in general. Rather, as reported by NPR, on January 5th, children are his core audience right now. And by children, NPR meant little little children. I'm talking about children who watch Sesame Street. Um, it has a, a video attached to it. Check out the, this video of the rapper appearing on Sesame Street and performing with the Muppets. I'm talking about elementary school children. The NPR article references a surprise show Little Nas X did at Lander Elementary School in Ohio in 2019. In footage from that day, the rapper enters a gym, gym full of children who start screaming at the top of their lungs. Some grasp their heads in disbelief. Others just jump up and down. 
some are so overwhelmed they just stand there slack jawed. Yes, little children in awe of Little Nas X. His Grammy winning song Old Town Road has been a massive hit with the elementary school set. Yet as he boasted in a tweet, I literally sing about lean and adultery in Old Town Road. You decide to let your children listen. Blame yourself. Lean refers to an illicit substance made with codeine, cough syrup, soda, and hard candy. It is highly addictive and potentially damaging to the body. So to repeat, while the sneakers themselves are a monetary yet deter- demented publicity grab, Lil Nas X's popular- popularity with little children is deeply alarming. What are the parents thinking? And are they aware that some of their children are among the multiplied millions who have viewed his perverse new video depicting simulated sex with the devil? Focus on combating the enemy's real work in society. Second, we should concentrate on the real satanic evil in the world around us. I'm talking about the sexual trafficking of children, about rape and murder, about hatred and violence and injustice, about abortion and the destruction of the family, about deception and spiritual delusion. So, while it's understandable that the sneaker announcement has garnered attention, we should keep our focus where it belongs, namely on combating the real work of the devil in our society. Don't be distracted by those who garner attention by sensationalizing Satan. Third, in keeping with the previous point, there will always be something sensational related to, to Satan. Whether it is a movie like Rosemary's Baby in 1968, or the so-called blasphemy challenge of 2007, something satanic will be in the headlines. Most recently, Satanists made national headlines with their legal challenge to Texas abortion laws, claiming that these laws are an infringement of their religious rights. That's because the temple's members consider abortion a ritualistic process, according to co-founder and spokesperson Lucian Greaves. The ritual is made, is meant, to take the shame and guilt away from the person receiving the procedure, affirming their choice to state regulation disrupt this ritual, grief said. The reality is that these occasional sensational stories will always be here. Let them be a reminder of the devil's real presence in society rather than a distraction from his evil agenda. Let's pray for little Nas X's soul. Fourth, little Nas X needs Jesus, according to Box.com. Little Nas X put human blood into 666 Nikes because being queer means embracing your villainy. He has been open about feeling spiritually rejected and hated because of his gayness, pushing back aggressively with his new satanic association. But just as Paul could say about his previous life as a blasphemer of God and a persecutor and even murderer of Jewish followers of Jesus, perhaps this rapper is also operating in ignorance and unbelief. And that's uh, uh, 1 Timothy 1.13. Perhaps he too does not fully realize the depth of his own depravity. In any, any case, let his publicity stunt be used as a call for us to pray for his soul. May God bring him to repentance and new life through the cross. Jesus defeated Satan and gave us authority to trample the enemy. Fifth, in Jesus, Satan is under our feet. Remarkably, remarkably, these sneakers have a scripture reference inscribed on them, namely Luke 10, 18, where Jesus states that he saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Why proclaim this truth on satanic sneakers? Why remind the world that he is fallen and defeated? Why point to a verse that is followed by Jesus telling his disciples, I have given you authority, authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy? Nothing will harm you. I can't explain the logic behind it, but I can affirm the truth of what is written. Through the cross and resurrection, we have authority over Satan and his demons, and he and they are under our feet, fallen from heaven indeed. Let's exercise that authority in Jesus' name and give the enemy of our souls no place in our lives. And let's go out into the world in that same authority, setting the captives free. Now would be an opportune time. Amen. So... And I'm pretty sure there's just numerous articles um, on 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 this. Like I said, it's 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 news fairly recent, and it's taken social media by storm. So you know, it's just keeping in line with um, a few other other episodes I posted um, a couple of weeks ago, and in more than one occasion, more than one episode, um, speaking about that the war is against our children. 
Um, and even that article stated that Little Nas X um, appeared, you know, to a gym full of children. Okay, it could be your child, your child. It could be your child's friend. It could be your niece. It could be your sister. It could, you know, your, you know, your your child, your grandchildren. Um, the devil. That he's very crafty, and he's after their souls and their minds. Um, at a, the younger the better. Okay, the younger, um, he gets to um, grasp our children, and take them and throw them in the river of confusion. Then, he's happier for it. Um, but we need to draw a line in the sand, and, and you know, as believers in Jesus Christ. Um, can I stress enough? Um, if you have children, if you have grandchildren, if you have nieces and nephews uh, who who are young in age, um, okay, so it's, that it, it's very serious. Um, again, this is not about little Nas X and 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 that he's evil. He's lending himself to evil, um, and his whatever uh, you know um, level that he he's gone. Um, to what to what degree uh, he's involved in the occult or, or what have you um, it's really we need to pray for his soul um, and as well as all other celebrities who who, who need Jesus um, we shouldn't demonize them and uh, and these things because don't know how how far they've fallen from grace Um they're sinners just like every one of us and they need Jesus um, so we should be praying for them um, you know that's it's really demonic you know the agenda that the devil is pushing um, and um, the point that that little Nas X is, is made you know availed himself to to the wiles of the enemy um, the devil himself and um, I just pray for his soul as well as the souls of of children the world over you know worldwide and um, it's it's not pretty um, don't know what the end result is going to be well, you know that lawsuit with Nike again didn't name him per se didn't name him in the lawsuit but the company um, that made the sneaker um, so Nike just wants to make clear that they have nothing to do with the Satan shoe, Satan sneakers. They um, they didn't endorse them. Um, so so just um, to keep in mind, you know, we we need to really be praying. It's time to pray. Um, other episodes I've made recently uh, were from a couple from actually 2017 from Facebook. Um, video, Facebook Live videos that I've done, um, posted that, um, the, or at least the audio from it, and uh, as well as a few from last year, um, you know, so you can check out, check them out on Facebook, um, as well as my social media sites. Okay, so, again, this is Salt and Light. You can check us out on Facebook and MeWe, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and on social media where I have a link. You click on that link and it takes you to the website where you can choose to listen. We're available on Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Breaker, Radio Public, and Spotify. And hey, listeners, you can also send me messages that could include in future episodes. You can send me prayer requests. We'd love to pray for you, um, or even just questions on whatever whatever if it's the topic or just questions on christianity and faith um anything um feel feel free to to shoot me those questions and visit or download the anchor app and hit the bell and subscribe thank you for support you you who do uh have done that if you feel led to do that um your support helps uh, helps make God's kingdom and level up as a podcast like and share the link once again thank you for your support we all need encouragement right now be blessed in Jesus name